More than 6,000 medical workers are being sent to Wuhan from all over China. They'll help overworked and understaffed teams struggling to cope with the coronavirus crisis. The number of deaths from the outbreak has now surpassed those killed by SARS in 2003. A lack of resources has forced some doctors to turn patients away. As a senior doctor, I felt terrible when I looked into their eyes. But I had to control myself to continue this fight against the epidemic. Chinese factories have been ordered to boost production of desperately needed medical supplies. The government says it's allocating $10 billion to fight the illness, but criticism over its handling of the crisis is growing. A group of academics has signed a letter demanding more freedom of speech and condemning the treatment of whistleblower Dr. Li Wenliang, who died from the virus this week. <laughs> Citizen journalist Chen Chu Shi was forced into quarantine after posting videos of overcrowded hospitals in Wuhan. The World Health Organization says the number of people with the virus appears to be stabilizing, but it's still too early to know whether the outbreak has reached its peak. The UN agency is sending a team to China to observe its response to the virus and has reminded global health authorities to remain vigilant. Experts in Hong Kong say existing measures aren't enough to prevent the outbreak spreading in the territory. Dozens of people there have been infected. I think uh, for Hong Kong, definitely it will be the beginning, same as other part of the world. Maybe for mainland, it is in the middle of the crisis. Uh, one of the epidemiology study conducted by Professor Gabriel Learn of Hong Kong um, University Medical School, he predicted that the disease may go on uh, and the peak in May or April, sometime in the, before the summer. So we, ho we think that the disease may still lingering on uh, for a few months. But while millions in China remain under lockdown, there was good news at least for the passengers of this cruise ship docked in Hong Kong. They've been allowed to leave after spending several days in quarantine. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.